everyone. Thank you for joining us today for Field Trip Friday at the Georgia Aquarium. We're really, really excited to have you. My name is Kim Stone and I'm part of the animal care team here, helping to take care of all the animals day in and day out during this time. And as you can see, we're practicing our own safety measures. So of course, we're all wearing our masks and bandanas, our gloves, and of course, practicing our social distancing as best we can while we care for these beautiful animals here. So for our field trip for you today, we wanted to do something extra special for you. So right now, we're standing behind the scenes on top of our largest habitat here at the aquarium, which is Ocean Voyager. It's about 6.3 million gallons of water. That's right, guys, million gallons of water. And about the length of an entire football field. And more importantly, it's home to one of our most iconic species, the whale sharks. So behind us right now, is a feeding that's taking place with our whale sharks that we wanted to showcase for you for your field trip here. So in this habitat is home to four whale sharks, two males and two females. And right now you can see they're getting ready to get their food for the day. So whale sharks are an endangered species and they are the largest fish out in the ocean. But the most unique thing about whale sharks is that when you think of sharks, you have a certain uh, vision in your head when you hear that word. But whale sharks are actually filter feeders. So as you can see, in front of us now is one of our very handsome males, you, Sean. And Emily here is feeding him with the ladle and you can see Yushan is swimming at the surface and he's actually filtering the food out of the water that she's offering to him. So if you look at a whale shark, you'll notice right away that with his mouth coming out of the water, he has a very wide mouth. Whale sharks' mouths can be up to about four feet wide and that helps them in feeding. So as he gets closer to us, you're gonna see how he opens his mouth and he takes in a ton of water but he's also bringing in all the food. Whale sharks as filter feeders, they like to eat a lot of plankton, which is very small, small particles that are in the water. So in order to obtain all of that food and the amount of food that they need to get, because you can see the size of this animal, they need to consume a, quite a bit of food. So in order to do that, they bring in all of the water into their mouth. They allow the food to get down near their throat but then they expel the water and push the water out of their five pairs of gill slits on the side. And this is what we call cross flow filtration. So it's a little bit different than what you think of with a, a true whale. Of course, this is a fish, so it's a little bit different. So Yushan is taking that food in, bringing it to his throat. There's also like a little flap that's in his mouth that'll help prevent the water from going back out because if the water goes back out of his mouth, so will the food. Once that food reaches his throat, then he'll swallow the food in. But again, his throat is very, very small. It's been compared to the size of a quarter. And he'll consume that. Now what you see here is with you, Sean, he's swimming right at the surface. And that strong suction that he has is what we call active suction. And this is when the animal is swimming straight forward, opening and closing his mouth and taking in his food. Now, whale sharks are also seen doing what's called vertical suction, where you may have seen on TV or on documentaries, where the animal will go vertical in the water column, put his mouth near the surface of the, of the water, and take in all the food that way. That's usually done when there's a large, massive concentration of plankton in the water column that they can obtain. Now you'll also notice that Emily here is using a ladle to slowly deliver the food to you, Sean. The big question we have is how much do whale sharks eat? Our four whale sharks here on average get between about 30 to 50 pounds of food a day. You, Sean, gets that, as well as the other ones, several times throughout the day. But in total, that's what they get in one particular day. So then the next thing is, 
what do we actually feed the whale sharks? Well, I actually have a sample over here so you can see up close exactly what you, Sean, is getting right now. So first we have what we call some gel. It's basically some cut up cubes that we have. And it's just ground up material that we, that we make here in the commissary. And you can see it's almost like a jello, so to speak. And we cut it up into these small little cubes. Again, their throat is about the size of a quarter. So it needs to be nice and small and smooth to go down. Next here, we have what's called a silver side. Again, a very small, slender fish, nice and easy to swallow. Next, we have Yushan's favorite food right here, which is a krill, right? It's just basically like a type of shrimp. And then even a smaller type of shrimp called mycids. So these are some items that Yushan really, really likes. And it's very important for us to make sure that all of our animals, including the whale sharks, maintain a very well-balanced diet. So we work very closely with our nutritionist here on staff to make sure that that's provided to all of our animals. And then also that they're getting any vitamins that they need as well too. Now feeding time is of course really fun for us to do because who doesn't want to feed a whale shark, but is also a great time for the animal care staff to really get to do a health check of the animal as well too. So not only are they delivering the food, but they're also able to have a chance to get a little bit closer to the animal, be able to check their mouths, their body condition, their eyes, be able to see if there's anything that they may need help with and so we can address that right away. So we hope that you really enjoyed our field trip behind the scenes here at Georgia Aquarium. I also want to encourage all of you, if you like this field trip, to also go to atlmuseumsathome.org and take a look at some of our other partners that are here locally that I'm sure have amazing field trips planned for you today as well too. So for now, we do hope that you are staying home and staying safe and healthy. We miss you all, but know the animals here are getting well cared for and we cannot wait to see you back soon. Thank you. Bye.